Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. This weekend it's Coastival and we've come to the Scarborough Spa. I'm going to be talking to Stuart Hardy and Dave Johnson from the Rock and Roll Spectacular that's happening here. Now, Stuart Hardy, you're one of the bosses. Yeah, um, we started organising um, these weekends in Scarborough in 2001. Uh, started off with an all-dayer and it's gradually grown to two weekends a year where we all come down and have rock and roll. Yeah, and Dave, Dave Johnson, I understand last night, Friday night, was absolutely packed. It was heaving in here. It was absolutely heaving in here. We just, if we, we, we couldn't have got anybody in without getting a shoe on out. How long have you been into rock and roll? Uh, since 1976. Oh, it's a year or two. Uh, just one or two. <laughs> yeah, and I love what you two are wearing, and your haircuts and that. I mean, just look at you, you're a real teddy boy. Yeah, that's me since I was 14. Bought my first drape when I was 14, and like most of the people who are here, never changed. We just love the lifestyle, we love the music, and we love the people that are associated with it as well. May I say, your get-up, your gear reminds me of Maverick. I mean, I love this, you know, it's very... Yeah, it's... Very it's sort of cowboyish. It's all... It's all part of the 50s style because they, you know, we'd have Mavericks, we'd have bootlaces, cravats, um, Slim Jims, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just a style I've started wearing for the last, well, few months. I used to be a cravat man all the time, but I've yeah. gone to these now. Yeah. So tell us, what's going to be happening here today? Right, well, we start in about, let me just check, about five minutes at 12 o'clock. And then we have two bands in the afternoon, one at two, one at four. Vincent and the Invaders are on at two and the High Ace are on at four. Then we have a bit of a lull, but the music's still playing. And then at 8 o'clock, we have the first band on, which is the Phantoms, all British, all instrumentals and all the early British hits. Then the best show band in the country, Lucas and the Dynamos, come on at 10 o'clock, and you'll not see a better entertaining band on stage than they are. And then we finish off at midnight with the band called the Wildcats, who were very big in the 1990s in our kind of scene, and they've got back together for this gig. So it's a special one-off gig, if you like, for them tonight. And then at two o'clock, we all pack our bags, take our sore heads, which we'll have in the morning, back onto the cliff lift, and we're gone. Because there won't be any drinking of alcohol, will there? Oh, no, it's oh no. no, 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 no. I mean, would we do? Yes, we would. But we have, we have a short break where we go, we leave here about two o'clock, half past two. We all go home, go to bed, get up, get breakfast, and then on Sunday, we come back down at noon, and we do it all again. And we've got another five bands on Sunday, running through to quarter past one, and then unfortunately that's when the weekend finishes and we all go back to our normal lives, if you like. So are you a Scarborough boy? No, I'm not, but um, my parents actually came here, which I didn't know, but they came here for their honeymoon. I lived in York for a while, uh, mainly in Birmingham, but moved to York, and then I moved up here um, in uh, about 1996, 95, and I love it. Scarborough is a lovely place to live, great people, great facilities, and that's why I decided to put some uh, rock and roll on, and it's worked. That's why the 600 plus people come here every year. And when's the next event in Scarborough? Well, the next one that we do is the uh, Reading and Rocking weekend, which is August the 21st and 22nd this year, in the spa at the Ocean Room upstairs. Not in this room, but it'll be at the spa Ocean Room. And tickets will be on sale within, I would say, the next two weeks. And you do this in some hotel? around Scarborough and also Blackpool. Yeah, well, in the hotels, we, we do it as a whole package so people can uh, have the accommodation and the weekend event all in one price. And um, we do uh, the Red Lee, the Esplanade and the Southlands Hotels, uh, which obviously is a benefit for them as the B&Bs get benefits from all the people who come in their own way, have their own accommodation sorted out. And the other one that we do in um, Blackpool is at the Norbreck Castle Hotel, which is in September. And that one is one event call we call the Ted Do, which is all hardcore teddy boys from England, Europe, and it, it's great. It's life. Sounds absolutely marvellous. Anyway, gentlemen, Stuart and Dave, thank you very much for having a chat. Thank You're you welcome. for asking us. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Nice to have something to show, a bit of interest in what we do in Scarborough. Thank you very much. I'm now with Wendy Holroyd, who is the big boss of Coastival. Now, Wendy, it's great to see you again. It's been a year since we've last talked. I know. Can you believe it? It seems like yesterday, doesn't it, Barry? It does, yes. <laughs> so tell me all about what's happening with Coastival over this three days. Yeah, well, 54 events, uh, 50 of which are absolutely free. 
We've got music, theatre, dance, uh, storytelling, uh, a whole range of visual arts and lots of activities for children, young people and, and adults as well. Well, today is the middle day, the Saturday. Friday, what happened on Friday, what's happening today and what's happening tomorrow? Yesterday we had a fantastic event called Reverberation and it was an event celebrating the history of Scarborough's music scene and uh, we had fantastic bands and DJs playing uh, that have been throughout the years but also we've got thousands of pieces of memorabilia in an exhibition uh, over in the Ocean Room. We've got posters, banners, we've got Robert Palmer's waistcoat, we've got all sorts of stuff over there. Uh, so that was last night which was fantastic and then today, tomorrow, we've got um, loads and loads of different events and different stages and activities all over the town. It must take quite some effort to organise something as big as this. It does. We'll be starting next year's on Monday, you know, we don't stop and uh, but we've got a fantastic team, our staff, our volunteers and all the people that help us programme the festival so it's a real Scarborough team effort. And you have a website? We do indeed, it's quite easy, it's www.coastable.com Well I think it's a great thing you're doing and may I say 12 out of 10. Thank you very much Barry. As always, what a great event we've been to here at the Scarborough Spa. We've talked to the organisers of Coastable and the organisers of the rock and roll event. Just goes to show Scarborough is the place to be for entertainment. I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News.